Hi, Dr. Q here from Star Nursery. Today, I'm manning the information booth at our Tropicana store. So we're gonna get some questions and answers from customers like you. I want a tree. It's gonna give me some shade, but doesn't get too big. I was looking at that desert willow, but does actually I think it's gonna be pretty messy because that loses everything in the winter, right? It does lose its leaves in the winter and it does have seed pods nice. as it drops, but they're actually a very nice tree and they are one of the better uh, smaller growing trees. They're actually native to this area, to our desert, the Mojave Desert. Uh, as long as you deep irrigate them to get that water to go down, the roots will go down How do you it. deep irrigate them? Just slow, deep watering. Do you have a deep rooter, like where you can put it in the ground? Yeah. You hook to the hose? Or right we've also people? got the, uh, um, the spikes that uh, actually have holes in them and they're little tubes that you can put down in the ground. They do come in different sizes. What they're great for is they've got a hard cap on them that, and a point where you can hammer them into the ground. And uh, I would put one like on either side of a large shrub or tree. They've got holes here that you can put emitters into or the tubing. They're great for areas like uh, if you have a tree planted in a lawn area so that you can get the water down past the root zone of the of the lawn and get it more to where the tree roots are. I have gotten several green bushes to put on my landscape. I'm mm -hmm. inundated with rabbits. There's a few plants that uh, rabbits aren't particularly fond of, but if they get hungry enough, they'll eat them. Right. Lantana is one right. that normally they won't, but I have seen them eat them before if, they, if that's all that's available to them. Lavender plants okay. uh, or any other herb type plant are good because they got a lot of oils in them that the rabbits don't like. Rosemary and uh, sage okay. uh, varieties. Also uh, things like uh, society garlic. Another good one is that uh, gopher plant. Are you familiar with that? No. Euphorbia rigida. It's got a, a gray leaf and uh, it kind of spreading, mounding. It's good for like a ground cover or, or a mounding shrub. Okay. And the, and the rabbits don't bother those at all. Don't forget, I make house calls. Call 702-771-7827 to make an appointment. I'm Dr. Q, and I'll see you next week.